Today's soap is going to be cactus slash succulent inspired-ish, sort of. Because I had these cute little soap molds that made these little succulents. And I have a fragrance called Cactus Flower and Jade. So cactus flowers, cactus, jade, those are succulents. I'm going to have some Tessa Silk added into this batch. We're going to be using some green and yellow vibrants, micas. For some color. I chose yellow because it seems like the majority of cactus flowers are yellow, but maybe that's just what I think. So we're going to do yellow and green. I'm going to be using up some more of our lilac infused olive oil, kale and clay, sugar. I'm not going to think too hard on it, basically. Strain our lilac infused olive oil. Here is our lilac infused olive oil and our lye water. Because this fragrance is a floral, I'm gonna add my fragrance a little bit later. Now this was a last minute decision right here. I decided I'm gonna use some soap shreds. In here we've got some like brownish reddish color mica with some dark soap shreds i'm gonna make this the bottom of the soap kind of like dirt and we'll add some fragrance oil and also in here is kale and clay you see what color this turned Here's some of our yellow vibrance and our green vibrance, which has more soap shreds. These are going to be kind of like the needles on a cactus. Okay, we'll add in our fragrance here, and I'll scrape it clean into my yellow. So this is a this is an outdoorsy, fresh, spring, happy smell. Just so you know, it's not a I'm walking through the garden smell at all. I like it. All right, let's start pouring some green. Whoa. and yellow. Green. Yellow. The rest of our yellow. The rest of our green. Do a little bit of a swirl. We're gonna place our little embeds. I actually made these quite a long time ago and just never used them. I plan to dust them with mica to make them beautiful. Some cute little uncolored ones.
Looks like that's that because these are the ones that are left are a little too big. So I guess these will be on another soap. I never even got to use the medium sized one. Probably because I was not smart and I just started putting the big ones in. Whatever. So I guess we'll stop right there. See you for the cut. Here we are the next day. And as I said, I was going to do a little bit of dusting. We've got a nice little blush brush from good old Mary Kay. Here we've got no, a no name, uh, kind of a, I don't know what you call it. It's kind of a lot on that one. Maybe I'll just do this color the whole way, huh? Well, this is working out quite nicely. I've never done this before. But that sure dresses it up, doesn't it? Yeah, that's nice. That one's a little heavier, but it still looks nice. I like that. Hmm. That was very easy. Not very much mica used. Lovely. My brush is shedding. It's a bad sign. Mary Kay. This is actually a really old brush though. This is like, like when I was super young and I was playing with my mom's makeup. That's how old this brush is. Now let's get to cutting, shall we? Actually, before you cut a soap, you have to unmold it. So let's get to unmolding it, shall we? See if we're ready. Well, that looks ready. Came off clean there. Here we go. You know what? I totally forgot I even did that dark at the bottom. I was like, whoa. And then I remembered. All right. Let's see how this looks. Here is our first slice. Looks like, uh, well, let's just keep going. <laughs> Let's see this piece. Well, I think it's nice. I'm not really sure what I was expecting. This is pretty much what I should have expected, I guess. Now I must say though, this fragrance smells wonderful. Let's see this side. Okay. <laughs> I think it's cute. I should be showing you the tops too, shouldn't I? I mean, I guess you did see the whole top, but it's still fun to see it on the bar. First, we'll turn around and look at it. Okay, there's our soap shreds and stuff. They're yellow flower and then here we got our succulent on top here very pretty isn't it I'm gonna have to do this again boy it looks good is this really what some succulents look like with the red tips I love it I really am happy with them Am I too close to you? This is too close. Should I back away? How about that? You like that better? It's not so much in your face. The more I look at it, the more I like it. It is kind of desertish. Yeah. I like it more as we cut it. I have always been a fan of cactuses and succulents. I still have a few cactuses from probably over 20 years ago. And I think succulents are some of the prettiest little plants. The fact that this uh, fragrance is called Cactus Flower 
and jade is one of the actually main reasons why I love cactuses so much is because they're thorny and they're they're painful if you touch them but they have some of the prettiest flowers and it's just amazing to see those beautiful delicate flowers coming out of this prickly old cactus once again I did not take the time to research my fragrance oil but nothing dramatic is happening to our cactus flower. I did research it afterwards and there is a 1% vanillin content in this fragrance oil, so it may get a little darker. We have a side stamp because this is not a salt bar and you can stamp a regular bar of so soap. Our tops look beautiful. I'm very happy with that. I'm going to do this again. I like that. So we did experience a little bit of acceleration as I was afraid of it being a floral nothing you can't handle. The scent is a very green and lightly floral scent. It's a very natural green outdoors scent. I like it. Very nice. So this is a Candle Science fragrance oil. The way they describe it is sweet agave, aloe, leaves, and chrysanthemum petals. Base of patchouli and earthiness. So do you own a cactus or a succulent? I do have some. I am a plant enthusiast. I enjoy plants, watching them grow, seeing them change. Look forward to our next soap. You're going to be so excited.